it's Ann here from Ann Makes. Uh, today I have a Dollarama haul to share with you. If you are new here and you'd like to subscribe, please uh, click on the Ann Makes there at the bottom of your screen. Also click on the bell so that way you will be notified every time I post a new video. And on this video, on this channel, you get to see me haul a lot of arts and craft supplies mostly and at the same time things for my family because I do a lot of one-stop shopping. In the, previ in the previous video I did profess to be a professional uh, uh, I did profess to being a uh, professional collector of arts and craft supplies. Yes, I seem to collect a lot more than I actually do anything with them. But I also work in the industry as a, a designer, an instructor, uh, influencer. So I do get a lot of products given to me by companies to test out, review, make projects with for assignments and uh, paid work and such. So that's why I have a lot of stuff and I can't help myself. I'm always interested in seeing what's out there, what's new and what's available for you guys that is affordable. It's on the cheaper side than some of this really expensive stuff that I have the opportunity to work with. So yesterday I had to go to Dollarama just because I wanted to. I wanted to see what there was. I know uh, my store, the store that I go to most frequently, there's a big turnaround and the stuff is there for a couple days and it's gone. So I know I have to, now I know I have to go there about once a week if I don't want to miss out on any of the new stuff. So of course I did find a few new things, uh, a lot of the same old stuff, but a few new things and I'm pretty excited to share with you everything that I purchased. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Now depending on who you are, <laughs> Uh, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to save the best for last. Now, for me, the best is the arts and crafts supplies. Uh, you know, for my my family, it's what I bought them to eat. <laughs> this is what I got. They love these Reese's peanut butter cups. We get these 10 packs of the small Reese's uh, snack size. And these are $2. I also bought the 10 pack of the small Arrow snack size bars as well as the coffee crisp and each of these packages is always two dollars so they're great great size for a quick little treat i also got some kit kats because we do like the kit kats a lot and a another bag of the peanuts the roasted peanuts like this in the shell these are quite popular with my guys we were in need of some more hand soap, so I did get a refill bottle uh, just for the boys and the kitchen. So this is $2 for 1.9 liters or 64 ounces. It's always a good deal. And I, another needed item is this Colgate. Uh, sensitive whitening toothpaste. Um, I'm not sure that I'm getting the best deal available in town, but this is $2.50 a Dollarama, but for convenience sake, I picked it up while I was there. Also in the beauty health aisle, they had this that was new at the store, the small sized uh, travel size Pantene hairspray. Uh, this is my preferred hairspray to use, and I really like finding these travel sizes exactly for that for traveling and I think these were a dollar fifty or two dollars I picked up some of these little uh, adjustable plant ties they're basically green zip ties I was trying to remember the name of these they're just green zip ties uh, to use. I'm going to use these to attach two pieces of metal trellis that I bought at Dollarama to make a taller one. Uh, I didn't bring them inside the house because they're. I, I bought the really, really tall green, the tallest ones that they have at Dollarama because I need to create a trellis to support a climbing plant in uh, one of my flower beds. So got that and the trellis pieces were $2 a piece and I bought 
four of them to make two tall trellises. And uh, these ties are $1.20, $1.50 for 120 Oh, another item in the health and beauty aisle were these pointed tip cotton swabs. So I don't know if you can see how pointy these are. Uh, yes, th these would be great, especially when I need to touch up my mascara. Uh, I like the size. And, of course, I bought two boxes. One box will be to go in with the uh, makeup stuff in the bathroom, and the other box will stay here in my studio to be used for crafting purposes. Now my Dollarama had replenished their stock of these sketchbooks that are $2.50. I really like these. They are like the Japanese writing books and I just love the design and I just had to pick another one up. It's got very nice paper inside for sketching. Can't beat the price of $2.50. I did find another one of these uh, journals. I had purchased one of these a couple weeks ago. They had, were, there was only one on the shelf at the time. But yesterday they had brought out two more cases of a variety of journals and they had this one. So I got another one. This one is $3.50. There are 192 lined sheets. I really enjoy these journals. It's like a leather well, their cover so nice they're such a nice quality you cannot beat the price and that's why I love buying journals at Dollarama speaking of journals I got this one again I already have one of these but I love it I love the paper I love the design very creative very artsy inside it is bound with it is does it say how many pages? Fortunately, I cannot tell you exactly how many pages there are, but there are quite a lot. And they are this craft paper, this nice thick craft paper stuff. So it's wonderful for an art journal or a drawing or sketching journal. And these are $3.50. So hardcover, very nice. Love the design. And I saw these. I had to get this one. They had these cute little spiral bound, and I believe they are aligned. Yes, they are aligned sheets inside. There are 80 sheets and these little hard bound journals, $2.50. And I'll take, this was the only one left when this design. And this is the one I chose simply because there's cats on it. But if you look closely, they're cat mermaids. <laughs> and this is three-dimensional. It's like a three-dimensional sticker on the top here with the cat with his snorkel gear. <laughs> his lifesaver. <laughs> it's just, uh, I love cats, so I just had to get this. So for my cat loving friends out there, keep your eyes open for this one. It's so cute. Such a cute little notebook. And this is what it looks like inside. Just a regular ruled paper in a kind of beige off-white color. So I got that. Also in the stationery aisle where I was there, they had these highlighter strips. So these are like sticky notes, but they're like highlighters. So instead of marking the inside of a book with an actual highlighting marker, you can use these little strips of paper, which I thought is really good, especially uh, for the students. I remember having to borrow lots of books from libraries. In the good old days, we used these things called books. Or you would get a bo or school book and, um, you know, it wasn't appreciated by the school or the library if you actually marked up the books with the highlighter. So I thought this is perfect for the student who needs to borrow books and wants to highlight certain passages for their research or whatever that they're doing. At least the, the next person who gets the book just has to remove the strip of paper. It's not like it's permanently damaged. So I got this because we are avid 
uh, book lovers in this house. And I know we are constantly making notes, sticking little post-its. We write in the margins of our books and stuff. So I just got this for myself and uh, mostly myself and my son, who are my youngest son, who are crazy about books. In the stationery aisle, I took advantage uh, that they had some more of the two packs of these fine line Sharpies. They are $2 a piece, so I got two of these. I go through so many of these in a year, it's, it's not funny. <laughs> I try to buy them by the box when uh, the school, back to school is in and Staples will have them on sale. But uh, yeah, I just, I still need extra. It's, I still go through the whole box before the year is done. And I'm sorry, did I say before, the highlighter strips are $1.25. Got that. Oh, one more item I had picked up in the garden section was these paper twist ties by Schmidt. You get a hundred of them for $1.25. They're just like little twisty ties, but they're kind of a greenish color. So these will be exactly for this here, just to um, stake the tomatoes. I mean, the, the tomato plants are growing and growing and like falling over and I'm, <laughs> I have to go and, you know, get a branch, hook it back up to the arbor thingy. <laughs> it's a constant battle. Okay, so now for some of the craft stuff that I have got. They had the colored rope, and I've hauled a rope like this, but in white before, and now they have them in all these pretty colors. They had blue, they had green, purple, black, brown, they had all sorts of colors at my store. And I just checked the pink, because I think this is a great little rope or string to use when you're making bags, drawstring bags, or you... Uh, or even if you want to wrap an item in cord, which is very trending right now in home decor. And I just thought I would get some of the pink because although I could dye the white one that I have, I just thought, oh, why bother if I can get it already dyed in pink, so. Uh, and in here you get, I think you get, it's very hard to see because of the plastic. Oh yes, you do. You get, uh, almost 10 yards you get 9.9 .9 yards on 9.1 meters of this cording for two dollars so that's pretty good and this is new to me it is this trim leaves ribbon they call it and my store had it in different colors they had it in this gold which i got a couple of those and they also had it in the sparkling silver. So it's it's a trim, but it, it's a ribbon or a trim, and it's all leaves. And on here you get two meters. So that's about six feet. That's what you get for the price. And they are $1.50. Uh, I saw my store also had more of a, I would call it a muted silver color. It looked more gray than silver, I thought. Uh, but I got these ones for some, I don't know what I'll use them for, but I'm sure I'll come up with some projects. This made me think of um, togas. Anyway, <laughs> never mind. Um, they had some new papers by the DCWV. Last time I hauled the same size, the same brand of paper, but in white. And this one is, again, 8 by 14, a very different length from our usual papers. But it comes in pastels. So I picked it up, because why not? 20 sheets for, I think this was $1.50 or $2.00. So this DCWV paper uh, comes in a pack of 20 sheets for $1.50, so it's pretty good. I noticed a few of my friends here on YouTube haul this little case. 
and that is one of the reasons I went to Dollarama to find it, although I don't need another case for my craft supplies. But this is uh, Creative Options, the four tray bead tower. How can you beat this price? Four dollars for this cute little case that opens like this and it has these little shelves inside with the little round compartments little round containers with multiple compartments so you can store little beads sequins whatever little small items you want in here and it's just so cute so uh, my Dollarama had some of these my Dollarama had these in the craft supply aisle, but I also seen in other people's videos that some Dollaramas had these in uh, with the other makeup bags. And I can see why they would assume that this is more of a makeup kit than a um, craft supply thing. But yeah, that's what it, what the intention is for, is for organizing and holding beads and other small craft embellishments but seriously you can use this for whatever you want it makes an excellent gift for uh, the beater or jewelry maker in your life four dollars cannot go wrong and last but not least uh, this I think is a great score I purchased some of these pads they are the spectrum noir colorista premium marker pads so these are this is the kind of paper that is all the ultimate paper to use with those alcohol based ink markers i know i did a little bit of that i talked about um, markers and what kind of papers you need to use so you you know you have more pleasure with your markers and when i saw this at dollarama i jumped on it because you get these pads now they are for coloring and they my store only had this under the sea theme there's 16 pages in here and this paper is thick it is like the marker paper it is very it's very uh like glossy it's just so smooth it's perfect for marker it is very thick as you can see and it is just amazing for markers. Now you're gonna say, well, I would like some, if you just want the regular white color marker, then just flip the page <laughs> and use the other side. It also comes with an extra white page here, and uh, this is intended for you to keep in between your color coloring pages as you color, because ink, the permanent ink or the alcohol ink will go through and it could leak onto the following page and i think i mentioned that in a previous video that when you're using alcohol based ink markers remember to keep some scrap paper beneath your uh, underneath your paper so you don't st accidentally stain the surface that is beneath so these are some of the designs that are in here and they are a lot of fun personally i really love this theme of under the sea uh, so this is great for coloring but again you could also use just the paper for the markers and i tested it out last night i tried to use only uh, markers that i purchased with the exception of one yeah i purchased at dollar stores so these are the colors I used and these are all markers these are from Dollarama that I used from dollar that were purchased at Dollarama and these are the newest ones so there was the craft series one and then there was the artist series ones that our, our Dollaramas have and a couple oh, there's a couple more colors here those colors and uh, this one is a studio brand so this one I purchased a Dollar Tree I had this in my stash and this is a Sharpie that I had purchased a Dollarama now with 
the additional uh, yellow Spectrum Noir that I have here. And I had bought this in a clearance at Winners. So I was to show you, but I know this one is the only one that you is a brand name. And uh, this one is the Blender by Spectrum Noir. So again, these I had bought and they were together and they were in a little pack and, a, and they were on clearance at Winners. So this is what I was able to do last night. I, it's not complete. But it's just to show you that with those colors, uh, I tried to make something that, you know, was not too, not too scary looking. Um, my, my dollar store marker palette is limited, but I just wanted to show you that it is possible to have fun with these markers, to color with them, to blend them, and they work fine. And see, so you can see how it came through. And this is really, this is paper made especially for alcohol ink markers. It does come through because I do a lot of blending. Uh, I tend to do three, four colors and I go back with layers and I blend and I take off. I just, so I, yeah, it's, there's a lot of juice on there. So you can see that there was some leakage through and, but there is this protective sheet underneath that I can use throughout the whole pad. So just to show you that you can achieve some very nice work with these really, really inexpensive alcohol ink markers, uh, especially if you're starting out. And the thing I found personally with working with these cheaper markers is that I was not afraid to abuse them. I was not afraid to use them. And, and I wasn't afraid that, oh, I'm going to run out of ink and they, they're so expensive. And so I got a lot done with these. And I just want to say you don't have to spend all your money on the really expensive ones if you are a crafter, if you're an amateur, if you are not going to sell this work uh, that you're doing. And even if you are a professional illustrator, I know professional illustrators who are using these markers uh, for the original that they scan and sell the prints of. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I've also noticed other YouTubers that have been finding the exact same markers, okay? They come with the same numbers, the same colors, under different names. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I've seen some, uh, the, there's a couple who live in the UK and I believe they are illustrators and they did a review of these markers that we found at Dollarama and they had them in the UK under a completely different label, uh, but I swear they're the same. They had the same names of colors. They had the same uh, thing about the cap color uh, being lighter or than the actual ink, it's just, yeah, or darker. It's just, it, I'm sure it's the same marker, so. And I've also seen illustrators in Canada who are using, who have tried these Dollarama markers and I've gone back to get more just because they spend so much money on the other brands that they like to have these cheaper ones as backups. Uh, so. Yeah, so if the professionals are doing it, why not the crafters? So that is um, what I wanted to share with you today from Dollarama. I was really excited to show you this uh, marker paper because we've been discussing about uh, alcohol ink markers and marker paper. So there you go. You can see uh, for your, you can try it for yourself for cheap. I'm sorry, I have to add this in. I completely forgot about another item that I hauled at uh, Dollarama. So I'm just squishing this part into the video here. Uh, they had these 18 double-ended markers. They are by Leisure Arts. They are the water-based. And when I saw these, I was like, really? Because these were $2. And I already have this set. I was given this exact same set by the company itself uh, at a show for me to try out, give my opinion and all that. 
and I had good things to say. The colors are bright. They're beautiful markers. They color very well. Uh, being uh, dual-ended, there's, um, is it a fine tip? Double-ended fine line and super tip. They're great for coloring books. They're great for all sorts of coloring. They have a nice light pink, which is one of my favorite colors to use when doing faces. So these are the tips that you get. So it's great. These are great for precise coloring. And that is the, the intention behind these uh, markers. They made these to go along with the line of coloring books that they had published. So uh, I think these are a great buy uh, for $2. You cannot go wrong. I highly recommend them. So if you see these and you're into coloring and you want some nice dye-based markers, these are not the same as the alcohol ink markers. These are dye-based. Um, then uh, check these out. So, that, so that's it for my Dollarama haul. I hope you have fun. Enjoy the rest of your summer. Take care of yourself. Uh, I would so appreciate a thumbs up, a like, a comment. Please share this video. I so appreciate all your support. I really do. And take care of yourself, and I'll see you after the next video. Bye.